So we do want to uh, take a look at Robbie's favorites right. uh, in particular. Um, and tonight you may wonder, why is it that Robbie's looking at Google? Mm -hmm. Well, I think a lot of people, everybody knows what Google is, right? Absolutely everybody in the world knows what Google is these days. Yeah, it's a verb. I'm going to Google that. It right? absolutely is. Yeah. I mean, you hear that all the time. I'm, I, and I say it, and I, and I don't mean to, but I've grown up with the generation that, you know, um, yeah. it is, we're Googling the Internet. So, uh, but then it, it, can we take it to the next step and actually turn Google into something that's even more useful than just a search engine? Mm. I'm talking about a calculator and a currency converter and oh, wow. being able to do all these different things. You know about Google Maps. And things mm -hmm. like that, right? So yeah, we're able everything. to do so much more than just the standard stuff. Just the search, yeah. Yeah. My mom, <coughs> when she says something smart, and I'm like, no way. Like, or if she tells me a neat fact or something, I'll be like, really? She'll be like, Google that and tell me I'm right, Carrie. Like, <laughs> she tells me to go Google. Wow, it. mom's down with the <laughs> lingo. She is. Sweet. <laughs> if you type Google into Google, you can break the internet. So please. <laughs> No one try it. That's from the IT crowd. Just a great show. Uh, don't now, break the internet. Yeah. So don't 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 try it. Don't try it. Just in case. I'm gonna just jump on over now. Whenever I go to Google.com, it's gonna automatically route me to Google.ca because that's where we are. It automatically takes me to the Canadian website. One of the things that I really love about uh, about Google is like I often carry. I, I'll often use this for uh, converting currency. Okay. I, I mentioned that. I use it for my weather forecast, things like that. Hmm. Uh, and I also uh, use it for like finding times around the world. It's very important to me because oh, okay, we're yeah. a, a live broadcast all around the True. world. So I just want to share some of the advanced stuff. Now, everybody knows that you can search the web using Google, and that's fine. But what else can you do? So things like, uh, for example, Time London is going to tell us the exact time right now in London, Ontario, hmm. London, Arkansas, London, United Kingdom, right? Things like that. Being able to type Barry map. So you put the place name first and then the word map and it will actually take you directly to a Barry map. If you've never seen this before, have you, have you ever seen anything like this, Carrie, uh, with, with Google? No, I would always search, like I would just put uh, like MapQuest or something okay, and, yeah. and search that way, but uh, that's a lot faster for sure if it comes up right It's away. nice having, a, a, I like one-stop shopping. And I'm not, yeah. <laughs> I'm not all about Google, and if, you, if you're not a Google fan, then that's fine. But I am really into uh, being able to get everything that I need right in one place. Um, and I, one, one thing I absolutely love, Carrie, how many times have I gone into Google and done something like, uh, you know, let's, we need uh, simple math, you know? You can actually type the equation <gasps> into Google. And, no it will, way. and it will give it to you. And it, and it can get more advanced than that. You can, you can do scientific mathematics and things like that. Will it do bed mass? I don't know what that is. What does it mean? Can, you, can we you type can it? You can put a whole equation with brackets oh, and yeah. exponents oh, absolutely. and things like and that. Oh, absolutely. And to the power of and stuff yeah, like that. Ex yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So It'll we just, do that? Yeah. So you Ooh. use symbols like uh, asterisk uh, shift 8 is for times, multiplication. Slash is your div division. A okay. plus and minus are given uh, to the power of, I believe, is, is that guy there. Okay. Um, so, for example, if I want to divide, you know, 25 divided by 5, just use really simple math, yeah. is going to tell me instantly right that there. that's what it is. So. That is excellent because every time I wanted to uh, do an equation or something, I actually open calculator in yeah. accessories. It's just so much quick. So like, it's just, every, it's, yeah. it's right there and, you know, everybody's got it. So, uh, the other one that I use is, uh, let's say, 100 US dollars. So you just use the, the abbreviate in CAD, and it will automatically tell me oh, 100 yeah. US dollars based on the current exchange rate is $126.57. That is great, Very especially handy. if you're traveling or something, you know. Just for anything. Whatever. Yeah, so this is a part of what makes Google my... Robbie's, Robbie's favorite favorites. for this week. <laughs> uh, another, you know, just thinking of conversions, and you can experiment. And I've and I've done some things in Google just to experiment. And you know, if you're doing measurements, you say, okay, well, I've got a hundred centimeters, but what is that in inches? Because I have no idea. In inches. Hit enter, and it will tell you that that is 39.37 inches. So you can do like there's all these things that you can just use regular English in Google and be able to get. Uh, the equations back and get the, the answer back. Okay, um, I like to bake, so wh what if you want to know what it is in cups and then what it is oh in yeah, mills? Oh yeah, exactly the same thing. So And, okay. I've, and I've used it for that too because I, I cook quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so let's say, so what would be an example? Let's say uh, one cup 
in, let's make it a hard one, like ounces. Yeah. yeah. Eight U.S. fluid ounces is one cup. See, so like that's okay. just handy, right? That is good. Can we to think know, of anything actually. else to try to stump Google? Oh, I don't know. We, we might can, break the internet. Well, we're not going to Google Google. We have to be very careful of that, as previously <laughs> seen. Uh, weather, Barry, will right away give you the weather forecast. Just that simple. Wow. That is good to know. Good to know, huh? What I'm going to do, uh, because there's, it's so vast, all the different things that you can do in Google besides just searching. And so what I want to do is I'll, I'll give you uh, some information in the show notes of Category 5 Technology TV, episode number 70. Uh, but do play around. I mean, even use your postal code, you know? Um, let's get over here and type pizza, L4M3C1, and it will actually show you the no nearest way. pizza places. And for the record... Dino's two-for-one pizza, the bomb. <laughs> Never so, tried it. Well, you definitely want to try it now. And see, <laughs> so it gives you the phone numbers of all these places. If you want to get more specific, let's say I want Pizza Hut specifically yeah. in, in my area. So I can actually search for the name of the company rather than just the name of, you know, what it is that they sell. And it will give me the listing of all the Pizza Huts that are near enough to my location based on the postal code that I gave it. And that works with zip codes too. So, you and know, for any company? Anything. Absolutely wow. anything. Google rules the internet. <laughs> Google is, is the internet. <laughs> yeah, Google is uh, Robbie's favorite for this week. You can check them out at google.com, but you already knew that. And of course, you could always just go to your favorite search engine and Google it.